And uh, I would just remind you that in all that we're doing here this morning, that our goal is for our God to be glorified. We're going to hear a wonderful uh, rendition of the salvation message of the gospel that, uh, that gives us our access to our God. So with no further ado, let me pray. We're going to go before our God, and then we're going to invite the cast and crew to come on out for our production. Will you join me in prayer? Father God, again, it is an honor to be in your house. We thank you for the hard work and the dedication that the, the kids and the workers have put in for this morning. And God, we pray that your name will be glorified most of all. But God, that as we experience your name being glorified, that we also will be entertained and enjoy our opportunity this morning to see these kids love you back. We pray all this in the name of Christ. Amen. Attention Christmas cruisers, today's excursions leave in five minutes. If you're snorkeling Flying Fish Cove, please meet on the Lido deck. If you're sampling the island's Christmas cuisine, you'll begin in the ship's galley. And if you're shopping on Christmas Island, you'll be traveling aboard the SS Mango. Please meet the Mango's captain and first mate at the end of the gangway and enjoy your beautiful Christmas holiday at sea. Well, we've been a captain for years, and we haven't either. Okay, did we all make it? I'm pretty sure we did, but let me count. We're starting the first set of lines. Who's missing? It looks like all the passengers are here, but what about the crew? Well, that's just us, that's just okay. us and our first mate. Billy! Did anyone see him after the boat went down? No. 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 If something happened to him, I'll never forgive myself. I couldn't have saved the SS Mango without him. Billy! 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 Oh, here you are. Billy, you scared me. I thought we lost you. Where have you been? 
I was so busy thinking, I got lost. I've been trying to remember something I was supposed to do, but I forgot. Whatever it was, it isn't important now, Billy. Why don't you head back to your crash site until it's salvageable from the SS Mango? Aye, aye, Captain. <coughs> the cruise of a lifetime. Celebrate Christmas in the biggest cruise ship in the Caribbean, the Yuletide. One minute, we're seeing Christmas girls on a cruise ship with thousands of people. The next, we get on a tiny boat and get shipwrecked. It's all my fault. I was the one who saw the Basa, the fabulous Totter. Yeah, the SS Mango will take you on a shopping excursion to Christmas Island. You'll remember forever. You gotta give him credit. They nailed the last part. Now, hey there, you sad little rain clouds. Cheer up. It looks like we got a bad case of the Mondays. Friday. Who are all these sad little people? Who are you? You know who I am. I'm Jessica, the cruise director on the old side. I have the privilege of ensuring everyone has a super duper wonderful time on their cruise. Well, Jessica, the first part stopping on Christmas Island was great, but the second part, the shipwreck, not so much. So now you're in a free tour of a, a primitive island. So how long before you think they realize they're missing? Well, I can assure you by 7 o'clock on Christmas Eve, yeah, they'll yeah, know sure something's wrong. What's so special about that? Can That's when the big Christmas show on the Yuletide is supposed to start. Emma, Sophie, and Tracy are actors and musicians and the stars of our Christmas show. Don't worry, people. As soon as the story met, I and Billy sent out SOS with our physician. We'll be rescued in no time. Just to be extra careful, we might want to make some preparations. Hey, this might even give us a little extra time to rehearse for the Christmas show. Good point, Sophie. We could always do more rehearsal. First, I think that we should break up into teams for forage water, food, build shelter, and look for supplies. What can you, can you three do to help? I'm Chloe. This is Olivia and Mason. We're firefighters from Des Moines on Christmas vacation, or we were. Perfect. Then we need you three to look for supplies. We're from the Estes Mango, likely washed up on shore. Maybe some of our backpacks and packages, too. Who are you? She's with the ship's drama troupe. Is she an actor, a musician? Neither. She's the ship's mine. A mine? Stand right there. Hold it with one finger. What do you want her to do, Captain? I really can't think of a mom to do. Why don't you just sit right there? But Captain, a mime is a terrible thing to waste. She can't just do nothing. Oh, yes, she can. I just encased her in a glass box. <laughs> hey, Captain, I, I'm a building professor. Thank you, Logan. You didn't just need the run materials I need. I can have a shelter built by nightfall. Go get him. Come on, everyone. By tonight, just on the off chance where that rescuers haven't gotten here yet, we'll have shelter, food, and water.
your package. Look what I found, everybody. A crate of canned food that washed up on the shore. Oh, I really hope it's pizza. It's tuna. Ah. Ah. the message in the bottle. Yeah. Oh, no. No. Proper procedure for a message in a bottle is to put the message in the bottle before you throw it, right? Who are you? Ah, oh, name's Johnny, Johnny Coconut. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I want you to call a permanent resident of this island here. Resident, you live here on purpose? Ha! <laughs> on purpose? No way, mate. Uh, see, I was sailing around the world all solo lock on my sailboat when this big old ferocious storm came and knocked me down on this island. And I've been here ever since. How long have you been here? Ah, oh, I don't really know. I think I left in 1998. Hope to make a home before 2000, though. Oh, no. Is your name really Johnny Coconut? That's just the super, super name. You are just a poop. i got to say, I'm really glad you guys got here. I didn't know when you would come. I'm finally being rescued, right? Break it to you, but we're just as lost as you are. We uh, thought that we'd be getting rescued any minute now, but now we're not so really sure. Oh, I hope we get back to the ship for Christmas. My whole family is waiting for me. We brought our Christmas stockings on the cruise and everything. So we really might miss Christmas? No big Christmas show? No big Christmas dinner? No decorations? No Christmas tree? Come on, you deserted island guys. We got bags full of Christmas stuff. What's happening? Now there won't be Christmas cookies decorated by Christmas Eve. Stockings hung, presents wrapped, sitting around our Christmas tree. Now who knows what Christmas Day will bring? Go! 
generations were stranded. We will do the best with what we've been handed. We can tell the story once again, reminding us our Savior has come to rescue us. So I know this ain't where you guys were wanting to spend Christmas, but man, this has got to be one of the best Christmases I've had in years. I bet you've been kind of lonely. Boy, have I. For the longest time, I did a Christmas, Christmas gift exchange. Stopped doing it a few years back though. Kept getting the same thing every year. <laughs> hey Johnny, do you yeah? have any idea where we are? Well, I'm afraid not, mate. There can't be that no. many, many islands out here, can there? Olivia, this is Christmas Island, where we were. This is the cruise ship, and I think this is us. We're, we're castaways in an uncharted island? These islands are legendary. I suspect we've shipwrecked on one of the fable ice cream islands. You mean we're stranded on a desert island? All right, Captain. Mm. Shelter is complete. I'm coming on your budget. Built completely from the wood from a mango that washed up on shore. I'll miss the mango. She was a strong little boat. Hey, look! We found more mangoes! Yay! This is all well and good, but we can't just sit here. We've got to figure out a way to save ourselves. Listen, let's place facts. There's a hundred miles of empty sea around us. We have no way to save ourselves. Hey, I have an idea. Since we're all here, we've got the place decorated for Christmas. How about a little taste of the Christmas show? Sure. It all began long, long ago when God promised a rescuer and the people were waiting, waiting for the promised rescuer to come.
of the Christmas story being a rescue story. The prophets foretold the coming Messiah, but then God was silent for 400 years. And the people still believed God's promise to send a rescuer and kept watching and waiting for the coming Messiah. Speaking of waiting and watching, I finally got a good signal fire going. The rescuers will be able to see this for miles. We've got to keep burning night and day. That's a nice fire. How'd you make it with so little stuff? Oh, that's great. <laughs> and the fire is out. Way to go, firefighters! Way to go! Not to complain, but that was our signal fire. Sorry, it's your reflex. We see a fire, we put it out. You travel, you travel with your fire clothes? You didn't think we'd leave them at home, did you? Yes, Ashley, yes I did. We got all the bags from the SS Mango off the beach and everybody has theirs. Wait, even the mine! Does she think she's pulling a real rope? Speak up, she can't hear you. What's she saying? I speak my mom translate. There's trouble. Billy is on the other beach. He has a plan. Fescue. Fescue? Isn't that some kind of crack? No, wait. He has a plan to rescue us. He took balloons. Fifty balloons. Fifty balloons? He filled them with hot air. He says he's going to float to civilization and get help. That will only take him over the ocean before he falls. You will keep doing what you're doing. I'll go stop Billy and bring him back. I'll go with you. Left offer, God's people will wait for 400 years. Oh, 400 years, mate. I thought I've been waiting a long time. That's why it was such awesome, amazing news when the angel showed up near Bethlehem announcing that the promised one had been born. The angel told the shepherds, Do not be afraid. I bring in good tidings of great joy, which will be to all the people. Born to you this day in the city of David is a Savior, and he is Christ the Lord. clothes and lying in a manger and suddenly there appeared with the angel a host of the heavenly host praising God and saying glory to God in the highest peace on earth and goodwill toward men oh come let us adore oh come let us adore oh come let us adore
you know, I learned all of that when I was just like a wee lad, but I really haven't thought about much of it as of recent. As the shepherd said to the angels, Johnny, this is good news for all the people, including Johnny Pokemon. Oh, I'd love to believe that. But I'm afraid I'm like some of those people that thought maybe God had forgotten about them after all those years. Maybe after all the rotten things I've done, maybe I just didn't deserve to be saved. Oh no! Billy! <gasps> We didn't make it in time. That kid messed up with a cot in a hurricane. We didn't make it in time before he left it off. We weren't Billy, able to stop him. You look fabulous, doesn't he, everyone? No. Definitely not. Uh, what happened to him? <laughs> How high up was he? He must have been half a mile up in the sky when we wouldn't even have seen him if he wasn't getting a flashlight. The flashlight was for signaling airplanes. Yeah, you got about 20 hours off the road when the wind started hopping. Must have been an hour off the road. Yeah, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a good sign. Mm-hmm, yeah. good try. That's for sure, yeah, as well. Right. Bailey, we're almost through that. We're almost to the most climactic moment of our Christmas show. Why don't you just sit down and join us? Okay, I guess all my plans have fallen flat anyway. Well then, mate, you might like this story then, because it seems that God is in the rescue of the business. What do you mean? Well, the people who last in darkness for 400 years. God had promised them a saviour, but they had to wait. Well, an angel appeared to a young girl, Mary, and told her that this long-awaited baby was to be born. She was to call him Jesus. And when Jesus was born, Mary and Joseph were far from home, just like us. And the angels, they filled the sky to tell a bunch of stinky little shepherds that their savior had been born in the town of Bethlehem. Listen, we are going to need some help with this next song. I think I've got just what you need. What is it? Oh, Aww. 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 had left them and gone back up into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened that the Lord has told us about. Sleep on. 
the shepherds had heard and seen the child, they went out and told everyone they saw about what had been happening. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had told them. Now that was an awesome rescue story. Hi, look. There. Where? What is, what it? is, what is that? What is it? It's a bright light in the sky. Is it a star? Or maybe a star. Like the wise, like the wise men who said, where is the one born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it arose. I'm not so sure that that's a star. Everyone was worried sick. They were praying all of you would return, even the mime. <laughs> we tried everything we could think of and just couldn't save ourselves. I'm so glad we found you. Hey, there looks like there is more of you than we thought. Yeah. Right here. Uh, see, I got lost a long time ago, likely before you were even born. Not you three, though. <laughs> well, why don't you pack your bags and we'll fly you back to the Yuletide? Just one question. How did you find us? The captain said that we were too far away. You were. We weren't searching over here. What? what? Yeah, this is way, way out of our search zone. We were Oscar Mike for refuel. How'd you see us? Our fire signal went out. Well, the pilot swears she saw a bright light in the sky surrounded by a bunch of balloons? Yeah. Well, what do you know? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll rescue you. We'll have to bring you on board one at a time, so you got to hold on tight. Back to, back to the Yuletide. We've got quite a story to tell. Right on. <laughs> We got a message for the whole world to hear. The whole world to hear. The whole world to hear. We got a message for the whole world to hear it now. We gotta tell us so the whole world can know it. The whole world can know it. The whole world can know it. We gotta tell us so the whole world can know it. So the whole world can know it now. Jesus came to rescue, he came to rescue, he came to rescue, we got to tell you this came to rescue, he came to rescue now.
and lowly manger the humble Christ was born and God sent us salvation that blessed Christmas morn Now that is a Christmas I will never forget. The Christmas that I got saved. I'm not just talking about from that island there. I fear I had forgotten the true good news of Christmas. The good news that God sent his son Jesus to save us from our sins. No one else could do it. That baby grew to be a sinless man who lived a sinless life. He died on the cross, but then he rose from the grave. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall be saved from eternal death. It's just like those helicopter rescuers told us. We'll save you, but you've got to grab on tight. The reason this good news for all people is such good news is that anyone could take hold in faith and be saved from sin and death. Now, do you need to be saved?
you great? They did awesome. We have been practicing super hard. You guys did well. I'm so proud of you. They had lots of lines to memorize and lots of practices, and they have really pulled it off. I have some thank yous. Parents, thank you. Some extra practices. Ooh, there we go. Um, thank you so much for bringing them. Thank you so much for um, listening to this CD in the car and at home forever. Don't kill me. It'll be okay. <laughs> they might be stuck in your head for a long time, but they are great truths that we can continue to sing about God being our rescuer. So thank you, parents. Thank you to our amazing tech crew. Give it up for our amazing tech crew. <laughs> They've been through lots of trials this week to make everything go smoothly, and we absolutely love them for making all of our dreams come true. There are tons of stagehands that helped us put on this performance. There are tons of people that are behind those scenes, and if I told you their names, they probably would kill me. Um, lots of hands went into this program. Lots of people were um, able to help, so we really, really thank you to all of our stagehands. Thank you to Mr. Randy Higdon for his beautiful scenery. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna put the cruise ship back up in a minute so you can come and take pictures of that because it is just stunning. Um, we thank you for your beautiful, wonderful talents that God has given you and using them for our church. Ms. Kylie, she did an amazing job working with all these kids on their choreography. Um, and we thank you. We thank you for coming and for supporting all of these kids and to be here. And um, it's so exciting to look out and see all those smiling faces that you guys have today. So thank you so much for coming. We hope that this was a joy to you and that um, you were able to um, really learn some great truths about the Lord. So I am now going to give it over to Pastor Ron. We couldn't very well ask Becky to thank herself. Uh, that would be a little strange, but uh, Becky and Kylie, to the both of you, we thank you so much. The parents, thank you. We recognize there have been endless hours of work put into this. It's kind of like uh, herding cats, but you did it so wonderfully well. And we have some gifts for each of you as a token of our appreciation. So. All right, so at this time, I'm going to close us in prayer, and again, we will put up the display. You're welcome to get pictures with uh, the wonderful cast and crew, if you'd like, or just a selfie of yourself in front of the cruise ship, whichever you prefer. Let's, uh, let's pray, and we'll dismiss from here. Father God, again, we thank you for the opportunity to bring glory to your name. We pray that this was an act of worship acceptable to you, and that your name was honored as a result of it. Thank you for the privilege that we have of loving you back. We pray this in the name of Christ. Amen. You are dismissed.